this morning we hear of the encounter of Jesus and the two demoniacs. And we are told that these two demoniacs are so possessed that people fail even to pass near the tombs where they live, or they fail to approach their territory because they are quite dangerous. But immediately these meet Jesus, they begin to negotiate with him. They begin to negotiate so that he can cast them at least in some other living being, and in this case, ahead of the swine. For me, what is special about this encounter is that these de demoniacs recognize something important or something significant in this person that they meet. The demons that are in these two people are not even fears or that dangerous anymore. They actually submit to Jesus. We are told they begin to beg him. Begging, in this case, is an act of submission to a higher power. They recognize the fact that this Jesus is more powerful than we are. Yes, we could be very fierce. Even the people in the community don't approach our territory, but this person is more powerful than we are. And so they begin to beg him. They begin to negotiate with him. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations that completely take away our hope. When we look at what we are passing through, sometimes we tell ourselves, this is the end of the road. There is no way out. This is it. We put our, to our tools down and we completely despair or lose hope. But in that moment of desperation, in that moment of hopelessness, when we meet Jesus, the encounter that we have with him is liberative. We pray for ourselves that whenever we find ourselves in situations that we think are so tormenting that we feel there is no way out, we may begin to recognize the power that lies in Jesus that we encounter in our day-to-day -day life in different ways. And when we submit to that power, Jesus is going to perform a miracle that will indeed liberate us. Amen.